So, Mizal, I know it's bright out here. Can you tell me, um, where are you? Anyway, where are we? Well, right now we're at the Gertianum, which is the center of anthroposophy in the world. Mm -hmm. So the pedagogical section, the group that works with Waldorf education all over the world, has their offices here, and we have an international conference here between teachers and class, um, teachers in the lower school and kindergarten teachers and uh -huh. doctors. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what did you come here for? Well, I came here because it's a really wonderful opportunity to meet kindergarten teachers and class teachers from all over the world and to try and build this bridge between the two sections. Um, a lot of times in schools, the lower school has its own feeling and then the kindergarten or the early childhood section, the high school section, and so to really try to build bridges between the three sections is a tricky one. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you were a keynote speaker at this event, is that right? Well, I was sharing the stage with a, a friend of mine, Susan Weber, who's been doing this amazing work with children in the years of zero to three, really from birth to three years old. And she's got a great initiative up in New Hampshire called Sophia's Hearth. And so we were asked um, to try to give a picture of childhood from very early years, from zero all the way through 14. And so, I've been at the upper end of that spectrum in the middle school for some years and of course Susan works so deeply with the really early years and we tried to overlap in the middle and also just that there's such a wish, there's such a need I think to work between sections that this is a big, education's a big job and it can't be done just in separate blocks, it really has to be a, 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 a kindergarten through 12th grade education and not have it stop in eighth grade or in, in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I have one more question for you, and that would be, what is, what will you take from this conference back to your colleagues in New York? What was maybe the one thing you would want to bring back? Um, I think the work really challenges us to try and meet each other, the students um, and each other as colleagues. Um, try to meet each other new each day and to see that we're all in a process of transformation of development even if you're kind of older like me <laughs> or if you're on the younger side like a baby in, in, a, pair, in a mother's arms mm. so I think that's something that I'd like to take back just to let everyone know we're on the hill at the Gotianum there's the Rudolf Steiner archive and down below the hill I don't know if you can see it it's the the known as the Spice House here, coffee house, and yeah, just to give you a sense of where this interview took place. All right.